everybody, it's me, Miss Susan from the Buena Ventura Lakes Library um, Youth Services Specialist. And I have a story for you today. It's for Halloween. It might be a little creepy, might not be a little creepy, but it's sure to be fun. So this story is the sort of true story of Jack O'Lantern, the Hungry Pumpkin. And, well, this is Jack. He's, he's a nice little orange pumpkin, and he's one of my Halloween decorations. He sits on my front porch every October. But the strangest thing happened the other day. It was at nighttime. It was dark and stormy night. I was in the kitchen, washing the kitchen, the dishes from supper, and I heard my front door open, creak, and then I heard thump a bump a thump a bump a, and I went, oh, what is that noise? And then the door went bang, slam shut. I was sort of scared. I didn't know what was going on. And then I hear thump a bump a thump a bump a, and I turn around and here comes Jack, thump a bump a 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 thump. Jack, what are you doing in my house? He said, it's raining out there. I'm like, yeah, it is raining out there, but you're okay. He said, yeah, I'm also hungry. Hungry? What do pumpkins eat? Hmm, what do they eat? <gasps> pumpkin seeds? Do you eat pumpkin seeds? Uh, no, I don't eat pumpkin seeds. But what I would like is something red and juicy. Let's see what's in your refrigerator. So he opened the refrigerator door and he found a, that's right, a strawberry. And he ate it right up. And I said, Jack, look at you. You are red. Did you get strawberry juice on you? Do you need a washcloth? No, I'm okay. Were you out in the sun too long? No. Did you wear sunscreen? No, you didn't put any on me. Are you sunburned? No, I just turned red when I eat the strawberry. Oh. But you know what? I'm still hungry. What else is in that refrigerator? And he went rummaging through the refrigerator again. And he found... <gasps> grapes! What color are those grapes? They're purple, and he ate them up. Chomp, 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 and <gasps> Jack, look at you. You're purple, just like the grapes. He said, I know, isn't it great? And I said, well, yeah, kind of. Although I never turn colors when I eat food. Well, that's okay, I'm a special pumpkin. Okay, do you have anything else to eat? He looked around. And he saw, he saw these on my counter. Some bananas. And he ate not one, not two, but three bananas. And he ate them all, the peel and everything. He put that all in it before I could even stop him. But he ate them all up. And then he turned yellow. I said, Jack, look at you. You probably shouldn't eat the banana peel because now you're yellow. He said, oh, it's okay. I'll be fine. What else is in your refrigerator? I said, I don't know. He looked in there and he found some blueberries. No, Jack, I said, don't eat those blueberries. They're for my breakfast tomorrow morning. But he ate them right up. Chomp, 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 chomp. And then he turned blue. I said, Jack, look at you, you're blue. He said, mm-hmm. I said, Jack, are you sad? No, I'm not sad. I said, well, you're blue and maybe you're a little bit sad. He said, well, if I'm sad about anything, I'm sad because I can't find any junk food. I said, Jack, junk food's not good for you. He said, oh, I bet you have junk food. And he went into my refrigerator. He went behind the milk. 
behind the juice. He found the yogurt and he pushed it aside. And he found behind there my chocolate. I said, no, Jack, not my chocolate too. And he ate my chocolate right up. And then, oh, you're right, he turned chocolate. I said, Jack, a chocolate pumpkin. Oh, do you suppose there's peanut butter inside there? Is it peanut butter and chocolate and a pumpkin? Oh, who would want one of those? I said, well, somebody might like a chocolate peanut butter pumpkin. He said, no, but I'm still hungry. I said, Jack, really? You shouldn't be eating so much. You might get a tummy ache. Oh, I'm still hungry. I'm going to eat this. And he found a nice green apple. And he chomped that right up. And then oh, he turned green. I said, Jack, you don't look very good. You don't look like yourself at all. Are you going to be OK? You're kind of green. And he went, oh, my tummy hurts. I said, Jack, no, no. He said, oh, I think I'm going to be sick. I said, no, Jack, don't be sick. Just take a deep breath and calm down. He said, you're right, but I know just the thing to make me feel like myself again. I said, what's that? He said, I need to eat a vegetable. I said, you're going to eat more? He said, yes. And he found a nice orange carrot, and he ate that up. And then, oh, there he is. He's back to being orange again. I said, well, look at you, Jack. You're back to orange. You look so much better now. You're a little bit bigger. Well, that's because I've been eating healthy food, except for the chocolate. But he was growing. And I said, Jack, do you think you should go back outside now that you're back to normal? He said, well, yeah. I said, maybe you shouldn't roll because that might upset your tummy. So I picked him up and I carried him thump, 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 outside and bloop, put him back on my porch. And guess what? That's where he was this morning when I went to work. And that is the sort of true story of Jack O'Lantern, the Hungry Pumpkin. The end.